Whether it's the Space Rangers, Socks, or Andy's Toys, Buzz Lightyear is leading the charge. This Space Ranger specializes in ranged attacks and death by paper cuts. What that means is that he does a lot of small damage that adds up over time. Buzz needs to be mindful of his spacing to be in the right position for maximum damage. Alternatively, he can excel at spreading out his damage in a way not seen since Maleficent and Demona. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere, but there are character cards to dig in, shall we? Like most characters, Buzz can move two spaces, provide a hand size of two, and hit for two damage. His health stands at eight points, and he's worth five VP. Both of these are about average and don't stand out for the positive or the negative. Buzz has trained his skills to be laser focused. With this, Buzz can do one damage to a rival that he's already damaged this turn, as long as that rival is two spaces away. This may sound strangely specific, but if you work out the placement, then you can consistently get between two to four damage a turn off on your rivals. For most characters, this would be hard to achieve. Unshakable Determination is a better version of Buzz's skill. Near the end of Buzz's turn, it allows him to do an additional damage to a rival that has already been damaged. This basically means that Buzz can do four to five consistent damage every turn, which is above the average curve. This is strong enough that I would encourage you to get this upgrade as soon as possible, since the damage adds up. Fascinating, so your inner voice advises you. Well, that in your deck, so we better get a look on what makes Buzz tick. So let's go through Buzz's cards and break it down a little further. I'll be going from most common to least common, as some cards appear in the deck multiple times. The first three cards each appear twice. Buzz can blast foes with his galactic punch. It deals three damage to an adjacent rival. Then you can reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an attack card, move that rival one space. This is a great setup for Buzz's skill to get that quick four damage on a single target. He set his laser from stun to kill. Laser Blast does one indirect damage in a straight line from Buzz to the end of the board. Then, you gain an additional movement phase. This is an opportunity for Buzz to line up multiple enemies if the plan is to split your damage to multiple opponents, or if someone is stealthy or taunted. However, in most normal situations, it won't be the best use of his offense. You people still use fossil fuels, or have you discovered Chrysalic Fusion? Activated Chrysalic Fusion allows Buzz to move up to three spaces and pass rivals while moving. If Buzz passes through at least two characters this way, draw a card. Using this to get a card typically takes some setup, because often it can require being in the middle of the board and having multiple characters adjacent to each other. But you can't argue with its ability to pass through rivals and increase its mobility. No space is safe from Buzz's rapid fire. It deals one damage to an adjacent rival, then deals one to a rival two spaces away, and finally, you guessed it, deals one to a rival three spaces away. You'd be shocked how often you can catch your rivals in a position to get hit by all this. Don't worry if you can't though, since it's good for a general ranged attack regardless. When Buzz needs some support, he's requesting backup. It has a range of two. Buzz deals two damage to a rival. Then each of your allies adjacent to that rival deals one indirect damage to them. This is the situational card that can still deal two to four damage at a distance. So it shouldn't be ignored when combined with the skill and his upgrade. Spinning Wind Kick, not to be confused with Chun-Li's Spinning Bird Kick, deals one indirect damage to each adjacent rival and moves them one space. Like Galactic Punch, this move is excellent at setting up his skill. It's also a good way to keep people off his back. If you can't tell by this point, positioning is the name of Buzz's game. Well, that and Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, but that's from a long time ago. To Infinity and Beyond! Moves Buzz up to three spaces, then moves an ally next to Buzz. Want to get a free early VP? Use this card near the beginning of the game and move an ally onto the VP space. Or get an ally out of trouble if they're surrounded by the enemy. Just make sure they aren't immobilized or else you get nothing out of it. Well, is Buzz's firepower more like a Space Ranger or a toy? Even though this Buzz is based on the Toy Story version, he certainly got the firepower to make some noise. Buzz's real benefit comes from his skill and his upgrade. Each are follow-up hits for additional damage that build up over time. His turns tend to involve either hitting people from a distance for small damage, or hitting people close up and attempting to create enough space to use his additional damage. The ranged damage can be fairly safe, but in order to do the most adjacent damage, he has to get up close and personal, which can be dangerous to trade blows with. Buzz has an odd relationship with status effects. Casting Shrunken on this toy doesn't have the same response 
because his laser focus and determination can still result in 3 damage turns. Casting strong on him can result in extremely damaging turns because each of those hits are increased by 1. For example, a standard hit with his skill and upgrade results in 7 damage if he's strong. This would be enough to take out Maleficent in one turn without using any of his cards. However, stealthy and tough hurt Buzz the most. If that same rival was stealthy, then that same turn would result in Buzz banishing three cards from his hand. If Buzz had no strong, but the opponent had tough, then the skill and upgrade would do no damage. With Buzz and status effects, the good gets better and the bad gets worse. So, be careful of opponents that can blunt the blow of his follow-up hits such as Sully, Aladdin, or Stitch. Although on the bright side, Buzz has what you need against Stitch since he can do big damage without activating Stitch's tough. Just make sure you're keeping track of the status effects that can be tossed out while also pointing Buzz at the target who's most vulnerable. Buzz's strengths lie in his damage potential. When he's fully upgraded, he can consistently do 5 or more damage each turn. He works best when combining close attacks with ranged attacks. His indirect ones can also avoid some of the impact of taunt. Buzz's weaknesses are as important as his strengths though. Tough and stealthy completely shut Buzz down, and mobilize doesn't help much either. As helpful as Buzz's laser focus can be, it requires being specific with your attacks and positioning in order to do the full damage, so specific that it's impossible in some cases. Buzz is good at being supporting offense, but not the primary damage dealer. The issue with Buzz is that if you want him to be the primary damage dealer, then it requires basing your team on positioning him properly or boosting his offense. It can be done, but it's not easy. Still, at 5 VP, he's far from a liability and can give your team the boost it needs to pull out a victory. Just be extremely careful for status effects. It's easy to counterpick Buzz with a tough or stealthy character, so it may be wise to pick Buzz last. So, which allies will stand with Buzz against the forces of evil? Jack, Buzz, and Gaston. Gaston's the primary damage dealer and Buzz is his right hand toy. However, the synergy starts when Jack steps in. Jack can counter several of the negative status effects that hinder Buzz. He also has the ability to maintain Gaston strong and to provide strong to Buzz, which would ramp up his damage to obscene levels. The issue here is that Jack only has one card that provides that chance. Afraid has the impact of either reducing damage done to your team or spacing them out enough for Buzz and Gaston to dictate the offensive pace. Buzz, Elsa, and Demona. This team is capable of fighting from almost any range. Each member of the team also can indirectly hit multiple opponents at once. This team shares the offensive burden and can adapt to deal with multiple gimmicks. However, this team is also frail enough that it can lose the damage battle to big hits. I'll tell you this, win or lose, I doubt battles are going to last that long with this team's involved. So that's our breakdown of Buzz. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to stick around for the next one. Until then, you know what, Socks? I'm not giving up on my mission either. See you next time.